Chet Womack here from theprepperproject.com, once again back with Engineer 775. There's a lot of books out there and media that have scared people and with some of their stories, and I'm, I don't know what's true or false, people don't know what's true or false, but when it comes to an EMP attack, there's a big concern. Will that really be able to destroy vehicles? Can you talk to that point? Sure. There, I rely on a study that was done. There's 37 vehicles that were put in this study that were basically bombarded with a simulated EMP. And what they found is that vehicles are a lot more robust than we give them credit for. They're metallic devices. They, they have some shielding um, components to them. They can protect what's with internal to the vehicle. So of the 37 vehicles that were tested, modern vehicles, all different makes and models, there was only one vehicle in the test that had catastrophic failure. Many of the vehicles, 10% of them, were um, shut down. You had to turn them off, but the, what they found was very interesting. All you had to do was turn the key completely off, turn it back on, and that vehicle would still start. There were 60 to 70% of the vehicles had what they call nuisance uh, failure modes. Um, there might be the windshield wiper relay failed or nothing that would keep the vehicle from actually functioning and running and being able to take you to where you needed to go. So they found vehicles a lot more uh, robust than people give them credit for. So it's not going to be, you know, the interstate just littered with vehicles, but they're just having a couple that break down could cause a lot of damage, a lot of accidents. Um, and then as vehicles get more and more modern and more and more plastics in them, then they're going to lose their shielding um, ability. So if they start more bo plastic body panels, then you lose that Faraday effect. So vehicles are a lot tougher than people get them credit for. So I, I rely on that study that was done on the 37 vehicles. I believe it was by the EMP Commission, um, and that can be referred to that their EMP Commission report from 2004. It's a great resource on, on this subject. If you're interested in how you can protect yourself from a CME or an EMP event, just click on the link below.